Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbons part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's talk about polymerization of alkyne. There are two kinds of polymerization, linear and cyclic. Let's talk about the linear first. So what happens is under suitable condition, a linear poly polymerization of ethyne takes place to produce polyacetylene or polyethyne. Polyethyne, which is polyethyne. From ethyne you get polyethyne, which has higher molecular weight, containing repeating units of these. So this can be written as this way because I had taken this from this if you do a polymerization you will get polyethyne correct and under special conditions sometimes this polymer also conducts electricity and these are used as electrodes in batteries you see the batteries they are used as electrodes in the batteries. And they are good connector, they are lighter and cheaper than metal connectors. So they are a good substitute of metal conductors. We talk about the cyclic polymerization. If the ethyne is passed over red hot iron tube at this much high temperature, then cyclic polymerization happens. And with this, they form benzene. And benzene, if you know, is starting material for a lot of other drugs. So you see, this is the reaction I have. I take I took three ethynes right and passing the red hot iron tube at 873 Kelvin I get benzene this is the reaction happens this bond breaks these bond breaks and this bond breaks so with that you get benzene let's take a good question it says how will you convert ethanoic acid to benzene from ethane to benzene we know right we can just pass this to a red hot tube at a high temperature. So if you can just convert this ethanoic acid to, to ethyne, we can do it, right. So I have COOH here. First what I can do it, I can remove this carbon dioxide. So for the, to do that, I have to make it sodium salt. So let me do it, let me make it a sodium salt. I'll pass this guy with NaOH, I'll get CH3CONA and water. Correct? Because it's a little acid, you can react with base to get sodium salt. Now what I can do with, with this, what I got, I can pass this guy with soda lime or the electrolysis process also. I can remove this carbon dioxide from this. Right? So with this, what I'll get is methane. Correct. But now I need ethane. Sorry, I need ethane actually. So methane to get ethane from methane, I can do it. How? I can just uh, do the chlorination of this CH3Cl and then using Wu's reaction, like this chlorine will go and I can get ethane. So I, let me do one thing. Let me pass this to chlorine actually. Right. And I'll get CH3Cl, this is a major product. And I'll take two CH3Cl actually. I'll take sodium dry ether. Using Wu's reaction, I'll get ethane. I have ethane now. I have to form ethane. Correct? From ethane to ethane now. If I get ethane, I can get benzene easily. From ethane, I have to get ethane. What I can do is I can uh, do the chlorination, I can get some chloride here. And then I can remove those HCl, right? Or I can do the, I have a Br, Br, if I have chlorine or do bromine molecules, I can remove them easily. So let's do that. So again, let's we pass this with a chlorine gas. So I'll get C2H5 Cl. And let me remove this HCl. It's called dehydrohalogenation. So I'll get CH2 double bond CH2. Similarly, again I have to uh, make it triple bond here. So what I can do is I can pass again with bromine here. So I'll get CH2Br, CH2Br, right? Again, let me remove this bromine actually. Right? I can remove this bromine actually very easily using NaNH2. So I get CH triple bond CH. So once I have CH triple bond CH, I can use this red hot 
iron 873 kelvin just now we learned and we'll get i'll use three of these and i'll get benzene this was i think i have learned so from this ch3 coh i got the ch3 cona from that i got methane from methane i got ethane correct from ethane i made it ethene and then ethyne Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.